welcome back to Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Josh Hardy here. Pretty excited today. I'm off to pick up a new uh, implement or attachment for the front end loader and I need to drive. I've got about a 40 minute drive to a Fastenal location where I was able to take delivery there. That saved me from paying shipping prices from Iowa. So I'll tell you a little bit more about what we got and how we're going to use it. Uh, once we arrive at the location. Yeah, I think that ought to work. I'm going to take the straps off. You can set it right on top of there and then we'll uh, We'll go from there I actually can't, have a film. can't have a film All right, so here it is uh, from cold roll industrial out of Iowa uh, I was able to hook up with Todd Maurer and uh, have some discussions around what his his stump bucket look like and what it could do and we actually bought the one that fits the one and two series uh, so this will be for the uh, 2032R in the 1025R um, the plan is to use it for uh, removing autumn olive on the habitat oasis project so uh, I believe it will fit on the uh, 4052R, but it's not rated for that, so it's possible you could damage it if you were uh, trying to do that. And you can see here, uh, because of the style of trailer that I had, we did some. I did some cribbing with the pallet and everything, got it all set up to where they could use the forks here at Fastenal. Uh, they wouldn't let me do any video while they were loading it, uh, but that's going to allow me to put it on and off. So let's get back home and uh, we'll get back home. We'll take it off and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, this particular stump bucket from Cold Roll in Industrial and uh, what other ones they offer and then maybe get a chance to run out and try it on an autumn olive, see what, see what it looks like. We are off. Almost back home, and uh, it is just a hot, muggy day in southeastern Ohio. Uh, but it is sure is beautiful out here. Uh, we just love it. So we're on this little dirt dirt road here, and uh, bought our property from the folks who own both sides of the road here. Uh, they've got a real nice uh, farm that. Uh, been in the family for a number of years and they are uh, the parents of the folks that we still know here they were into a lot of the conservation and helped return this property to uh, you know the amazing property that it is now it's obviously not as uh, kept up as it used to be because they don't live down here full-time and Maybe in time they'll have a place down here, but uh, but yeah, this is a, a spot. There goes the resident groundhog that we need to help eliminate. But yeah, this place is um, is beautiful, and uh, I'm excited because uh, tomorrow Jason and I, or no Saturday, Jason and I will be heading to a uh, banquet to receive another conservation award. There's our pond out through there. And uh, we'll have more to tell you about that, but all the work that we're doing on the Habitat Oasis is starting to pan out. And uh, we're getting recognized for the great work that we're doing. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's get this thing parked and see about unloading this, uh, this stump bucket.
so that didn't seem like the uh, the best place to unload a little bit on a downhill which we got hills everywhere and I was trying to get the shortest path to the to the tractor but uh, my uh, forks are bent and they were bent in the opposite way of the slanting on the hill here so as I was trying to uh, to pick up I had one fork that was almost completely out of the uh, the pallet but we got it placed up here we got the forks taken off and uh, this is a that's a good looking heavy duty piece of equipment here so uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to trying it out uh, these things run you yeah, have to don't quote me for sure but I think it was 825 for this size 925 for the larger one these come with the uh, the John Deere attachment but they also make them in orange for the Kubotas and they also make them uh, with a skid sear attachment uh, in black so yeah I saw cold roll uh, industrial CRI products mentioned uh, back when I was doing the snow snow removal videos I think they do some pushers and a number of things so you should check out their website coldrollindustrial.com to learn more about their products but uh, I had seen a couple comments online from uh, Todd Maurer which I believe is the owner uh, of uh, CRI and uh, reached out to him and just asked him some questions let him know what I was trying to do on the Habitat Oasis and uh, asked him about the stump bucket so we felt like it was probably going to be a good solution to try to pop out some autumn olive and uh, as part of our conservation project we figured we'd invest the money uh, hopefully we can get some cost share back from uh, our equip program uh, when we commit to doing some more so uh, we'll help offset the cost of these but uh, I think we're going to do a couple two three videos uh, try a couple different places I've actually never dug out a stump with my backhoe uh, which seems to be one of the hot things everybody likes to do so uh, just put the backhoe back on today as we were working in the uh, pole barn here to, to make some more space and I uh, figured uh, we'll use it for ballast while we're out there digging out some autumn olive and see how that goes um, we're going to try this on the 2032R we're going to try it on the 1025R see how it does and uh, you know we'll just we'll give it a go uh, the other thing that I noticed on their website which I went ahead and just went with the stock uh, blade on the uh, on the end is they also sell a, a spade bit uh, more for kind of digging um, so we'll see how this works in uh, pulling out autumn olive it looks like it's replaceable if you break a, a point or something on it so um, overall uh, pretty happy with what I'm seeing here quality looks pretty good we're gonna get this uh, cut off the uh, pallet hook it up make sure everything lines up the way it's supposed to and uh, maybe head back to the Oasis and see how it works it's been raining today so I'm not sure I want to get too far into the autumn olive I might end up getting soaked as I'm bumping into some of those uh, trees so we'll see how it goes
Habitat Oasis now. The stuff that you see behind me is predominantly autumn olive. And uh, we got the stump bucket on from uh, CRI. Uh, got my 3M work tunes headphones on. If you've never used these, these are pretty cool. Uh, they work with the Bluetooth and everything. So uh, I've got a link to them in the, uh, in the description, but my new favorite headphones. Uh, I like, oh, that's pretty cool up there. I don't know if we could see that flying out of the tree there. Some sort of hawk, I believe. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is a lot easier to do in the winter when all the weeds are down uh, and I haven't been out here mowing. So sometimes can't quite tell how big the autumn olive is, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, when I was using just the bucket, we had lay down branches and break them off, push them over. Uh, not quite sure what the process will be yet with this stump bucket, but we're going to give it a go. And uh, I think I'm going to try to tackle that one directly in front of me right there. See what I what it looks like when I get down into it. Some of these things have one massive trunk. Some have ten massive trunks. Some are small, you know, round, biggest round of my arm, uh, smaller. But we've got a ton that we still have to remove as part of our equip program. So I'm gonna get back to my classic rock here, uh, playing off my Spotify list, and uh, let's see how the stump bucket works.
look at that, man. I am super pleased with this. Now, one of the big advantages here versus with the uh, the bucket, and I gotta tell you, we're we're absolutely missing uh, we're missing a grapple. That's our next big thing that we need. Uh, let us know in the comments who you think has the best grapple out there. We don't have third function, uh, but we have uh, dual SCVs, so we could run uh, extensions to them if we need to. I know that's not the best way, and I know there's a new John Deere third function, but we need a grapple uh, to clean this mess up. But look at this, man. I think the best part of this, the best part of the stump bucket for this autumn olive removal is the reach. So we've got a little bit further reach. We got the teeth to, to bump down in. I mean, I was just pulling up this root system here and they're shallow roots. Look at the size of the area here. Now we're gonna need to go back through, clear all this out, maybe refresh some of our brush piles that we have out here. And this stuff just keeps regrowing from the, from the roots and stuff, but we'll be able to come back and spray those. But I just got done knocking out that one, that one, or two or three right there, huge ones. And this one over here was the first one we hit. And you can see, it's just kind of nice and clean down in there. Now, the challenge here is all those roots, those roots will continue to produce plants, but we'll be able to mow them, spray them, do that sort of thing that takes, you know, a lot more of the uh, mechanical removal, turn it into more just, you know, mowing and spraying. And so I'm going to keep hitting some of these, but I'm really pleased. So, uh, so far, thumbs up on the uh, cold roll industrial stump bucket uh, we got a lot of way a lot of work to do but i think we got a great uh a great tool to do it here so curious to see how well the uh, 1025r can hang uh with bumping some of these out we might find find some smaller ones and they look even bigger with all the leaves on them all right just finished up uh some autumn olive stuff i'll get back out here again but uh put a good uh dent in uh probably about a half acre or more a uh, lot easier than dealing with uh chainsaws pole saws uh the uh, basil bark spray doesn't work out here uh but uh, again i'm using the uh, cri cold roll industrial stump bucket uh for the one and two series size john deers and uh first impressions Pretty darn excited about it. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And uh, check out some of our other videos. If you're a 1 Series uh, fan, check out Jason's playlist. If you're a 2 Series fan, check out mine. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've got a whole bunch of tractors in action. Habitat management, deer hunting, fishing, wood miser saw milling. Uh, a lot of stuff happening in here uh, in Southeast Ohio. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. If you would like to uh, show us some support, uh, hit our uh, Amazon link to uh, buy anything from Amazon and we'll get a small commission uh, that we can help keeping the channel going here. So thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.